thanks so much. Time now for the breakdown. Jake Plummer joining us this evening in studio. It is good to be back talking about games that actually matter. How are you? I'm doing well. Had a great summer, ready for some football now. Well, let's talk about the guys in the position that you used to play, and I want to start with Trevor Simeon. We know this is his team. What is the biggest thing that you want to see from Trevor as he makes that jump from year one to year two as the starting quarterback? You know, he, he really impressed me last year, I think, playing, playing through a lot of pain. We know he was hurt and banged up. He still, I, I thought, put together a very good season. But now that he's proven he can play and play hurt and gain the respect of these guys, now it's to see what, what he does next. Like, how does he galvanize that whole locker room and become that leader? And I want to see, like I always tell him, a little fire. A little, have some fun out there. Show us something we haven't seen. Well, what does it say about Trevor that it's the second year in a row he's had to win the job in training camp, and then he gets voted a team captain? It's clear that the guys in that locker room really respect him and look up to him. Of course, and from my early conversations with him when he was just starting to, to try to crack into making the team I said you got to earn your respect but once you do it's that's when special things can happen and obviously the team the guys the, the, in that locker room feel this that he's their guy the leader of this team so it's going to be fun to see him go out there as that from the start and see what he can do let's talk about the guy that they brought in to back up Trevor at least yep. to start the season and that's Brock Osweiler what did you make of the decision to bring Brock back it seemed like a no-brainer when the Browns cut him. I was hoping he would make it with the Browns and get a shot to play there with my old coach, Hugh Jackson. But Brock's a great football player, and maybe it was just uh, fate's way of saying, hey, you should have stayed here. But he's back here now. I I've been in communication with him. He said he's ex so excited to be back in the mile high. He loves it here. Hopefully the fans will take it easy on him. You know, it, was, they did it wasn't a personal decision. It was a business decision. But I'm sure, he you know, in this – this league, you need to have two pretty good quarterbacks in order to get through an entire season. Hopefully Trevor doesn't get hurt, but just in case, it won't hurt having Brock there for at least a few weeks. Well, I think it says <laughs> a lot about Brock and the way that he responded by coming back and certainly said all the right things, not only when he met with the media, but obviously uh, in that locker room and talking to the players as well. Let's talk about the new offensive coordinator, Mike McCoy. How can he help this offense? Bottom third in the league last year. They've got to get better. What can he do to make that happen? Well, he, he's got to take what he has won and, and, and be, become lethal in some way. Uh, you've got two superstars, Marius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders, but who's going to fill in as that third receiver? Are we going to get a tight end catching more routes, or is, there gonna, is Fowler going to step up, Latimer? Who's going to be the guy that, like, no one's going to be focused on that's going to make a lot of big plays for us? And that's, that's where this happens. And with Mike McCoy, he's so good at moving guys all over the place that – like the guys are saying in all the media print and everything, who knows who's going to get the ball. Mm -hmm. Jordan Taylor, another guy, I, I think could that relationship with him and Trevor is special. They've been throwing the ball together a lot. So look for whoever, those, that's going to be the exciting part, is which one of those guys steps up and starts making some big plays for this team. And as a quarterback, you have to love that they are going to put that offense in a position to be a big play offense. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, Mike McCoy's had a lot of success doing that. I love Coach McCoy. He had... A really powerful offense down in San Diego. Uh, he's got a lot of talent, and they've beefed up the O-line. So, you know, Trevor's sitting pretty with a lot of weapons around him. It's going to be a tough season. There's no clear-cut favorite, I don't think, right now in the AFC, and a lot of tough teams to go against. So, Trevor, have your head on a swivel back there with these rush ins coming up, but go out and make plays and have fun, and, and it'll be fun to watch this team grow. Quickly, how important is it to establish the running game early and keep that going throughout the season? We know they brought in Jamal Charles. How important is it for guys like C.J. and Devontae Booker when he's back to have a big impact on this offense? Well, it starts in the middle, Matt Paradis. I mean, that yeah. guy, he's, a cons he's a consistent. He doesn't miss plays. So from there and spread out, they beefed up the O-line. There's no reason why this run game shouldn't be that much better. Devontae Booker's got another year under his belt. And CJ's going to bring it. You know that. And so, we'll get our first look at that key. tomorrow night. Much more ahead tonight on Auto Nation All Access. Jake Plummer, as always, thanks for dropping yeah. by.